everyone it's your girl me viva and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to farming to riches and this is part 14 if you haven't watched the previous part which was 13 go back and watch it before you watch this one because that part it was low-key spicy and something very very unexpected happened which i will kind of recap on this episode but before we get started with this episode, y'all already know the routine. Go ahead and like up this video if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. Why aren't you subscribed? Like, hello? It's free. And also hit that bell button so you can be notified every time I upload a new YouTube video and you won't be like, Viva girl, you're not uploading. I'm like, uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> Anyways, so it's the next day and Inez actually looking pretty happy right now. She just woke up. I don't know why she's happy because one, y'all see this green funk around her she stink and she started her period overnight <laughs> because y'all know in the last episode how it ended yeah we knew that her period was coming so anyways we're gonna go ahead and get started with today in our dirty house we stinking like this is a mess but as we get started i'm gonna go ahead and tell you everything that we're going to be doing so she's on her period right now as y'all can see right here look at her moolah she's cramping right now she's gonna be cramping for eight hours and she has to pee and she needs a tampon slash pad and you can see that her period only lasts two days which is not that bad so we're gonna try to get through it and she's also craving some sweets because because of her cycle so what we're we gonna do first of all we're going to have her to use the bathroom we're gonna use our menstrual products I think I'm gonna do should I do a menstrual cup or a tampon or a pad so many options let's do tampon let's uh use tampon get that squared away then we're gonna take our little shower that we might gotta take twice I'll be good it should be all right but anyways in the last part you know it was love day and you know i said i was gonna go on a day with omar to see how things go uh the night went pretty well we had a cute little time and we asked him to be our boyfriend but he did like a oh my god not the toilet being broken he did like a we're gonna repair that so get some handy to skill up he did like a uno reverse card on us and he like i'm gonna up you one and he proposed to ines right on the spot and that was my first time experiencing a sim actually proposing to my sim so obviously homeboy was very very in love with Inez so he proposed to her and she said yes yeah. so obviously Inez wants to get married so she's now a fiance so she's waking up very happy this morning as you can see engaged from engagement like that's crazy I wonder if that go in her memory with this mod though we'll see Let's we'll see. So our girl Hanez is engaged and y'all said that we should go ahead and move him in. So that's going to be something that we do in this episode. And also our situation with our solar panels. Y'all told me to go ahead and get that generator, but also keep the solar panels for a backup. Uh, I don't know how much of a backup they're going to be for us because the solar panels are just not working out in our favor. So we're going to go ahead and spend some money and get a generator and clean this dirty house from top to bottom before we even allow Omar to come here and live here with us because this is quite embarrassing so we got to get our house together we got to take care of our animals we got to take care of ourselves it's like a lot of things we got to do before our fiance come live with us and it's going to be really cute uh for me to figure out what i'm gonna do as a wedding for them it's gonna be a cute little farm wedding i believe i might use a barn or something i don't know i gotta find a venue for us <laughs> homegirl crying Right, let's mop this up real quick we're gonna brush our teeth we're gonna um is she hungry she'd be all right we're gonna take care of our animals first before we try to do this whole generator situation because i don't know how that's gonna go but i know our animals are hungry so we're going to take care of them before we take care of ourselves in this house so let's feed our chickens and we're going to collect the eggs that we get. How many eggs we got in there? It's not showing me anymore, there you go. We got three eggs ready and we're also gonna go ahead and clean the coop because last time it was disgusting and we don't want that to happen again. So let's not allow that to happen. <laughs> so gonna feed all them our egg in here. Is it ready to hatch yet? It's gonna hatch in like 11 hours, okay. 
But we got another baby on the way. Fluff is probably still a chick. I don't know what's up with Fluff. I try resetting Fluff. Fluff just doesn't want to age up. Fluff want to be a cute little chick forever. So we're going to let him stay a cute little chick forever. Oh, we have another hatchable egg, y'all. Look at that. Why don't you look at that? Uh-uh. Get away from here. Leave us alone. Leave my babies alone. That's right. Run off. Going to take care of Moo. Going to clean Moo. Smother Moo with love. Milk Moo. And clean your shit out as well. I should go and refill your feet so you don't go hungry and clean your shit. Look at this. Look at this. Billy Taba, I heard that you got engaged. Congratulations. I'm so excited for you and Omar. Is he trying to be shady? Because we could have been with Billy. But oh, the lights came on, y'all. Look at that. And she's trying to clean up all the dust in here. The lights are probably not going to stay on. I'm still going to get the generator because the solar panels are so finicky. But apparently the power is back on now because it's a sunny day it was cloudy yesterday so the light came on and it went off but we gotta clean that house bad but let's put our little hatchable egg up there so it can start hatching i believe this will make chicken number eight and our first coop will be filled y'all it will be filled but amelia and kentucky have a chance of dying soon even though i gave them the healthy treat oh what's wrong moo moo you don't want no love today what's wrong moo don't you don't act like this moo and also we did get some extra money last part so i might be going ahead and getting a llama for the first time because i do want to start cross stitching or knitting or something like that and make money that way as well there you go you all good Moo. thank you thank you this uh should we show a little attention to the eggs or, uh, not the eggs <laughs> the chickens no they they fine they okay but you you need to go get on out of here get on out of here let's take care of our garden here we don't have no water so we might gotta water all of them ourselves um let's I said I was going to expand it, so maybe I should harvest a little bit. Let me see. Let me let me think about what I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to harvest like one of each. No, because I wanted to plant those spicy mushrooms, didn't I? What we got in our refrigerator? Um, Do I got the spicy? Wait, I can't see. <laughs> um... We do have green peas in here. Spinach, that grows in the winter time. So we're gonna do carrots. Uh, we're gonna wait on the bell peppers. We could keep the taro root. Um, the spushy mushrooms. Oh, they don't grow to the summertime, so never mind. Um Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna harvest from each one of these and just replant them again. Like put like another patch and see if they could all grow before uh so let's just harvest one of each. So let's harvest green peas harvest terra root harvest carrots harvest the regular mushroom the green peas and the strawberry and i'm just going to plant all those things over again oh, we already got green peas vote it no let's just do another one and then the strawberries and then we're gonna weed. We got speed up time. It's already 10 o'clock in the morning. It's so much to do in the morning. She's hungry too, so we gotta take care of ourselves. But we still gotta clean up this house. That's a big part. I didn't even know I made a dip where you step down into the house. Oh, y'all, I'm such a bad builder. I didn't even know that was a thing. How did I end up doing that? I do not know. I put a platform and that's probably why but I didn't know you stepped down into the house like that. <laughs> like, what do I be doing? It's been a while. How are you doing? I'm doing okay, Omar. I'm doing okay. <laughs> you really popped one up on us. 
yesterday. I was really shocked that she said yes because I thought honestly that she was going to say no because... Mm, but obviously she feel the same way about him. Let's go ahead and weed the area. Then we're going to super sell. I don't think we have to water anything. Not from my understanding. So we should be good with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and super sell everything. And get a little money. Get like 537 simoleons, which is not bad. Not bad. Then we're going to eat. And then we're going to clean this house. This plant does not need water. Did that get stuck up there? Oh no. Okay, it went away down, good. And we need to still up our yoga skill up some more so we can get more people to be in our yoga class. We're not gonna do no yoga, cause like I said, uh, ooh, there's a fair today. It's the cow fair. I almost forgot about that. We gotta do that too. Um, we reached level nine in gardening, so we're almost maxed out on our gardening skill. I'm happy about that. But we're gonna take a little breaky break. I totally forgot that it's a fair today. Today is Saturday. It's the cow fair, y'all. So we gotta take a move there. So we gotta bring like our best milk, which we don't even have any type of special milk. I did not prepare for this at all. We have the enriched milk, so maybe that'll help us out. But that's some we got another thing to do today, y'all. Oh, there's so much going on, but it's okay. <laughs> so we're gonna feed ourselves. Uh, we're actually gonna try to cook something. <laughs> Since, you know, we could actually use our stove now for the first time. We're gonna have brunch. Ooh, barbecue chicken slider. Darn, I should use um what you call it. I should use, let me see. I don't have on the simple living, do I? I need to turn on simple living so I could only make meals that we have the ingredients for. Uh, don't I have that? Oh, I do have that. So I guess we, but I said, you know what? Anyways, shit. <laughs> uh, let's not make that though. Cause I feel like we don't even have any chicken. Let's look at cook. And let's see what our options are. Um, see, these are real options right here of what we can make. We can make some egg ramen, beef wellington, just stuff that's catching my eye. Let's make, let's make uh, the egg ramen. Let's do that. Our first like real proper meal, y'all. Egg ramen, let's do that. I totally forgot all about the fear, y'all. I am distraught. Let's make that for ourselves. And we're gonna go ahead and sell our regular milk. And we're gonna, uh, we only got like one regular egg. I guess she took an egg out of her pocket to cook the egg ramen. Cause I was like, huh? We good though, we good. <laughs> uh, anything I could sell. Oh, this last stock upgrade part, I need to use that. We got so much to do, y'all. We gotta clean up this house. We gotta expand our garden. We gotta go to this fair. We gotta get our fiance here. Like, <laughs> it's so much going on. And I like that though. I like having a lot of things to do. But this house is so disgusting. Hello, it might be Omar, watch. Oh no, it's not Omar. Who is that? We reached level six in cooking. Who is that? Don't come in here. <laughs> do not come in here, baby. Don't do that. And I said I was gonna get a generator. I feel like now I don't even need a generator for now. I mean, I could still buy it and use it as a backup in case, you know, it might be another cloudy day or a rainy day. I know, I know, you PMS and we know. So, I'm gonna still get the generator, y'all. I'm gonna do that after she's done eating. And I never used a generator before, just like I never used the solar panels before. So I'm really doing a lot of first things for myself. Oh, there go the cramps. Yep. <laughs> Them cramps hitting, ain't it? We might buy her some medicine so she don't cramp as bad. We gonna do that for her because I don't wanna see her suffering like that. So let's go ahead and get you something let's get you some menstrual relief medicine go ahead take that pill you don't want to take the pill oh my god she didn't want to take the pill but she took it never mind it just didn't show it for whatever reason can you eat a little faster though we got a lot of things to do time is ticking <laughs> time is ticking but this little 
dining area right here. I did, I outdid myself with that. Let's go ahead and clean up though. She don't like to clean up. Why are you still at the door? Goodbye, sir, goodbye. Send you home, bye. And I like the fact that Sims always use the bathroom sink to clean dishes when there's a sink right there in the kitchen. Anyways, let's go ahead and buy this generator. And then we're gonna, I think I'm a, I think I'm gonna expand the garden first. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this tree, but we're gonna expand this first and then we're gonna start vacuuming and clean this up. And then go to the calf here <laughs> so let's get started let's go into building buy and find this generator all right so let's get to off the grid and just show me everything because i don't even know exactly what it's under i feel like i should do this do collector as well so when it rains then we can use that water to refill you know our plumbing stuff because i still have to go gather water that's why i can't even use my sprinkler right now so um, I get that too, but will it be raining anytime soon though? I think I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get it, y'all. I, I am. Might as well. This thing is huge and it looks weird. But it's gonna help us whenever it rains. So, yes. I just feel like I need to put this stuff in a certain area. Like all our off the grid stuff in a certain area. So it don't look weird just being randomly around the house and stuff like that. But... We're gonna figure that out uh, <laughs> eventually. Like if you just look at the house from the front, you won't even see that from the back. And we really don't need to look at the back of our house anyway. So we got a little dew collector and this is a generator. Ooh, I didn't think it was gonna cost this much, but it makes sense, it makes sense. Um, What's that? Oh, this is a water generator. I can't be having all this stuff on my <laughs> lot. It's gonna look so bad and tacky. Let's get this generator though. Uh, this the only colors that they have? Interesting. Oh, I'll probably go for this one. I think that's the only generators that they have in here, I think. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna go for this one. I don't even know how to use this thing, but we're gonna figure that out. We're gonna put that in the back of the house too <laughs> for now. So let's see how we'll even get this thing to work if we need it to work. Ooh. Wow. So we need to get So we gotta recycle. So that give us even more of a job to do, y'all. Okay, okay, we're gonna figure that out. They really gonna make us do all this eco lifestyle stuff, huh? <laughs> we'll figure out how to get those pieces. We gotta recycle and stuff. But for now, oop, I should've stayed in building bad. But for now, we're not gonna worry about that, but we gotta recycle to get the pieces to even get fuel. Okay, that's fine. Nobody told me that. I thought it was just gonna be like you buy some fuel and boom, boom, it work. It's like no, it's a little bit more complicated than that. That's fine. <laughs> so let's go ahead and expand our little farm. Right. I don't even know if I want to keep it right here. It's just I have it right here because it's convenient for us just to walk out the door and be right here, <laughs> right next to it. But assure you this farm is not going to stay in this area it's gonna move somewhere probably like back here in this area i'm gonna like put a fence around it's gonna look a lot cuter but for now it's it's here but it's not going to stay here we're gonna definitely have other things in this spot so i'm just gonna expand it by four tiles and we're gonna get planting we're gonna start with the strawberries then we're gonna do the tarot root and then the mushrooms I don't think I'm gonna do the sweet peas again and then the carrots 
and I probably should get another sprinkler that would help us out a lot but I need to gather some water so it would even work first of all but how the sprinkler don't cover that much area so I might have to like put them like here but would it get those over there if I put it right here all right so we're just gonna use this one I was wrong I was thinking there was another one that cover it more distance but I, i'm wrong <laughs> you might could like upgrade them to do that though because that covered that distance i'm put one here and maybe one here that that should be fine right right okay <laughs> that should be good we spent a lot of money very quickly so let's get the plant in For now, our solar panels are doing their job. I thought I told you go home. That's what I thought. Get on, get on out of here. And I just need to gather some water. Do I need anything? I don't think I need anything special for this. But we know now that we gotta do an extra step in order for our generator to work. So I wanna like, I'm not gonna like consistently be running the generator since our solar panels are working for now. But whenever our solar panels don't work, I want the generator as a backup. So I gotta make sure I get the fuel for that. Oh, there go Omar. Well, what is he doing? Do he have like one of those little, what you call it, cubes? Why are he crying? You are right? He like, I supposed to be living here today. You are just, we gotta get things together first. Is he coming over to us? Oh, he's waving, we we see you, we we see you. He thinking about that woo we had last night. I don't blame him. We just, we're busy right now. Very busy. I need to gather some water. We gotta run all the way to the lake for water. That's crazy. Oh, but that's what we're gonna have to do. Should I even say anything to him? We could elope. Not gonna do that. Should we invite him in? No, you can't come into our house. It's dirty. We're just gonna act like you're not even there, to be honest. We need to gather water, but we gotta run all the way over here to gather some water. So let's do that real quick. Anything we could like collect on the way back home though? Oh, that almost gave me a heart attack. <sighs> We, I feel like we haven't collected anything in days, but I don't even see anything, which is weird. But okay. But we're gonna gather water and go right back home. Gonna speed it up. We are busy, y'all. Busy. But yeah, Omar not gonna come live with us until like way later <laughs> tonight sometime at this point. The cow fair has started. We stinking. That means we have to change our tampon. Oh, there goes something right there. Oh, he's leaving now. But we don't have time for this. Okay. While you go take care of your tampon, we should be able to turn these on. So we're gonna have her to uh, change her tampon and wash her hands, which hopefully she go ahead and just wash her hands. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drop in on the cow fair and we're gonna leave Moo there and come back home to clean up. But we're just gonna go to the fair really quickly. Gonna go to the fair really quick. And drop Moo off and drop off some milk. And then we'll be ready to go. Wash your hands, please. There you go, period. All right, so now we need to get our best milk. Hold on, let me pause real quick. We gotta go to the cow fair, y'all. Uh, put all this stuff in the refrigerator. And let's open up the refrigerator. Let, uh, we don't need no ice now, but we're gonna add ice anyway. Um, Let's open. Where's our best milk? We also gotta do cannon. It's so much stuff we gotta do still, y'all. Is this the enriched milk? It's only normal quality, though. But I feel like enriched milk is better than normal milk. But the normal milk is excellent quality. 
I'm just gonna use the regular milk because it's better. <laughs> it's just better quality. And now all we have to do is collect Moo up. Come here, Moo baby. Hopefully you're doing good. Let's uh give you some love. Hopefully you allow us to love you now because we want you to win this fair for us. We really want you to do that. We're gonna put you in our inventory. We're just gonna go to a very fun place. There you go. Love us. And you're going to win this fair, okay? We believe in you, all right? <laughs> all right, y'all. Let's go to this cow fair real quick. All right, y'all. So we're here at the cow fair. We're going to go ahead and submit Moo and our bottle of milk. So let's go ahead and submit entry. Where is she at? <laughs> I said, where is she? There she go. So let's submit Moo. Moo, please win for us. You'll be right back home with us, but we're gonna just drop you off and go. It's like dropping your child off at daycare, you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna go ahead and submit our milk. Which one should we use? I'm gonna use this stand right here. Oh, they got a special type of milk. We don't have any special type of milk, but that's okay. I feel like our milk will still outbeat the rest, just quality alone. <gasps> it's spoiled. Oh my God, how did it go from excellent to spoiled? Oh uh, yeah, we lost. <laughs> I should have brought them all as backup. How did it went from excellent to spoiled? We just came here and it spoiled that quickly. I'm upset. I'm upset about that. How did you spoil? You was in the refrigerator. They got freaking pumpkin spice milk. Yeah, we lost. We we really put spoiled milk up there. Can I go back home? Can I take that away? Like, no, I don't want that. <laughs> uh, it's too late. I could drink it, but that's not a good thing to do. Can we go back home and, like, get another bottle of milk? I'm going to go back home, y'all, because no. No, 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 no. I, I'm not accepting that. I, I'm not accepting that we put spoiled milk up there. I know. But what if the rest of our milk is spoiled? We have to see. Because it shouldn't. Because it's been in the refrigerator. And nothing. Let's just see. Oh. Oh, babies are outside my house. Hello. This is not a daycare. Imagine if it was like generations. And then the lights went off again. See this is why I have the generator. Because we're definitely going to use that as a backup. Um, But like hello. Like. What's happening with our, our milk? I'm just gonna drag all the milk with me because something ain't right. That milk was literally just excellent quality. Like this one right here, then all of a sudden we traveled and it went spoiled. Like, hello? I'm just gonna take all our milk with us. We're gonna see. Something happened, they cheating us. Anyway, let's go back. And see if we could resubmit, like drink that spoiled milk and then put another one there. We'll see. Right, Y'all, so we're back. And we're going to see if I could just drink this to get this off the stand and put another one. Let's see. Because um, I'm not settling for that. Not the game cheating me, I imagine. Drink it. Yeah, it's disgusting. I know. But I want to see if we drink it. Will we be allowed to resubmit? Probably not. Not a vanishing in thin air. We can't go on a date right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, it's not working. Imagine. Let us put another one. Well, I tried, y'all. I tried to cheat. I tried to cheat. I'm upset. <laughs> I'm upset. I really tried to cheat. I really did. She liked Moo though. Moo might win, but that spoiled milk is just, it's wraps for us, y'all. I'm mad. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going home. Imagine having freaking pumpkin spice milk. I'm jealous. Whoa, I could smell this milk before I even get close to it. Pumpkin spice milk. So that means they don't like it either? Did they spoil? It's something going on with the milk, y'all. Well, 
I'm going home. I have a lot of vacuuming to do to get ready for my fiance to come live with us and he trying to go on a date. <laughs> uh, we might go on a another date some other time she got through up too oh gosh i probably shouldn't have drunk that spoiled milk but i thought it was a a good plan but obviously it won't so moo went for us you're gonna come back home tonight so see you then your your dad's gonna be here but we gotta go <laughs> all right y'all so we out here in uh, what is it called? Evergreen Harbor. <laughs> and we're going to do some dumpster diving so we can start recycling stuff so we can use our generator. Because once we left our lot, the solar panels went dead again. And I'm so sick of that. So I need to get my generator working ASAP. So who is this? Hello? I feel like this one of my... It is. Zahari, how are you here? And why do you look like that? <laughs> so we're just diving to get as many things as possible so we could recycle. So we could use our generator real quick. Cause the solar panels, they be getting on my nerves, chat. Like how you leave the lot and come back and then they just decide not to work anymore. Now, is it a smart idea to be dumpster diving while on your period? So you're like double the funk? It's not, but we gotta do what we gotta do, okay? Cause I need to do this stuff. Let's recycle. Uh this and uh the kitchen upgrade the plumbing i kind of want to keep those things though no i don't want to get rid of that uh vip bucket that could go i think we got that because we had a legendary date i don't think i want to get rid of that <laughs> and not our vacuum cleaner either uh I don't even know what I'm doing, y'all. Like I said, I have never done any eco lifestyle stuff, so this this is my first time doing all of this. But I'm I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best. Let's do that. No, lady, get out of our way. Zahari, no, we're engaged. Stop it. Get. Get off the machine. <laughs> like, hello? Don't you see that we're trying to do something here? I need this more than you, lady. Don't get back on it either. Get get on out the way. I don't even know what I'm doing, y'all. Like, how do you even see this stuff? I don't ever remember. I don't even know, but we're gonna try our best. We need that little zero one. Bits and pieces. All right, so we got 33 of that. That's all we needed, right? I think that's enough to start our generator. All right, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna test this out, but this is our first time recycling y'all, but we're gonna go ahead and see if we could use that to get our generator started. So let's head back home, cause it's already nighttime and we need our fiance to come over so he can live here. We need to clean our house, so let's go home. All right, y'all, so we're back home with our bits and pieces. So let's see if we can get this thing to work. So we're gonna add fuel because these solar panels, baby, they give me a headache. <sighs> All right, there we go, and I feel, period. She gonna start it herself, boom. <laughs> now, what does that do? So, did I do it right? Do I have to wait a little bit? Or, what's up? <laughs> I don't even know. Let's, uh, use the bathroom. And take a shower. And see if it will start to power up our home. I don't know, y'all. I don't even know what I'm doing, y'all. But I'm taking a brisk shower. 
and we'll see if this thing gonna start doing anything. Cause it just gotta be like near the house, right? I ain't gotta do nothing extra special, right? 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 Hopefully not. Maybe I just need to give it some time. All right, y'all. So I decided to leave the house to come back to the cow fair to see how it ends. Uh, because we gotta wait on that generator to generate energy so we will not be able to vacuum again so it looks like Omar might not be coming home today and it might actually be the next day but let's see if our cow actually win it's about to be over very very soon so can I help you Agatha our cow should win because I think it's the only cow here if I'm not mistaken I just wanna, I guess this episode will be really about the cow fair and not about, uh, that's not a good picture. And not about Omar coming to be with us because it's just, we're not having the, be off the grid is hard. It's making this more of a challenge than what it needs to be. <laughs> like I would never do off the grid ever again. I see why I never like used any of this stuff before because it's like, it's, it's stressful but yeah the only cow and i don't even see the milks anymore so i don't even know what's happening like the cow fair is glitched <laughs> for sure it's glitched and i might as well just go ahead and take my cow with me and just see what happens you know oh you gotta use the bathroom Oh, she's being auto solved because we're on a public lot. But go ahead and end this fair so we can end this part because y'all, this part is stressing me out. Who's this? Okay, you cleaning up? Okay. It's your job to clean up around the fair? I didn't even know that was a thing. But this fair should be over with. The mayor got on a mess. Last time we saw you, you was pregnant. So that means you had your baby. We gotta be nosy and see if she had a boy or a girl. It's like nothing here, so I'm just gonna like snatch my cow up. Who this? Trying to talk. Are you asking us about a drink? <laughs> We're gonna, can we just put you back in our inventory? Oh, we can't. I guess we gotta wait till it's actually over, over. But it should be over by now. I, the freaking thing is glitched, y'all. I don't know what I did to it, but it's glitched. It should be over with now. Oh, she gave us something. Thank you, Mayor. I appreciate it. Yeah, this whole thing is glitch. I need my cow. I, I need my cow, please. We're just gonna give up on it. It's glitched. Terrible. Cause it should have been over. Can, can I take my cow? I just want my cow back. Please. What's your back breaking? Um, my game hates me. Please give me my cow. <laughs> just, just please, gay, give me my cow. Yeah, my cow is very, very sweet, but. All right, y'all. I'm going to sit here to see what happens, but I might cut away, but. She's still judging. Girl, it's 11 at night. Give me my cow. Stop holding my cow hostage. What the heck? Yeah, it's time to get out of here. <laughs> it's time to get the heck on out of here, Chad. What's going on? Not people still bringing stuff. The competition been over. Like, what are what are y'all doing? You got strawberry milk. Like, oh my, we might be here all night, y'all. But we're going to stay here until they give us our cow. This competition should have been over with. I don't know why it's going on for so long. But we're going to see what time it actually ends. Let's see. All right, y'all. So the cow fair just ended. <laughs> At 1.30 in the morning. 
at 1.30 in the morning. And we got some money, we got one cheese, we got one participation for our, one participation ribbon because our milk was spoiled or whatever. But let's see about our cow. Uh, Moo won second place, I don't know how because we was the only cow here. Maybe like I said, it's glitch and I didn't see another cow. I don't know what's going on, y'all, but we, we got to get the heck on out of here. Where my cow at? Okay, we got, we're going to go. We're going to go home. <laughs> we're going to go right on home. It's like we still don't have any power yet. <laughs> y'all, this, this is killing me. But anyway, let's go ahead and put Moo back. Uh, If we could do that, go ahead, Moo. But we got second place in a participation ribbon. And I guess that's not that bad. But basically, Moo been at daycare until 1.30 in the morning. That's it. <laughs> and we said, this part just... <sighs> I feel your pain right now, Ines. I feel your pain. But her period should be almost over. I only got 24 more hours to go. And we'll be done. But anyways, I guess Omar would be here tomorrow. I'll play whenever the generator actually does its job and we could clean our house i really thought he was going to be here this episode but you know the sims and this issues that it has it always it throw you for a loop but please remind me this is the only series i will ever do off the grid i will never do off the grid ever again and i took for granted how much easier gameplay is without off the grid <laughs> I would never do an off the grid lot ever again. And I'm so tempted to take it off at this point. I'm going to try to stick it out for a little bit longer. But if I still run into these issues with the power and stuff, I'm just going to make it a regular lot and take off the off the grid trait and just live my life if it's starting to get on my nerves too bad. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this part. Don't forget to like up this video if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Follow all those links down below and I will see y'all in my next video. 